The Lion King Swampberry Sling, released in 1998. This is a first-person shooting gallery game based on the hit Disney franchise. This game, I think, was uh, released on the Simba's Pride game collection, but was also released as a standalone, I guess, to maximize sales, and I really hope it was uh, sold at a lower price. When I first started the game, I had some audio problems with the voices. With one my paw behind my... Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. This I got a... Hey, Kolu, we forgot to tell them about setting the difficulty and making some levels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Click on kit. Click on kitten. Reinstalling the game seemed to have fixed that problem, so I don't know why that happened, but can't complain. So you can play two players taking turns, which I think was a bad choice. Co-op probably would have been a little better. You get to choose from two of our lion heroes, Kiara or Kovu. And they seem to have a bit of a rivalry going here. If I were you, I'd go for Kiara. I'm pretty good at these games. Well, I'm Kovu, and I can beat you anytime, anywhere. It really doesn't matter who you pick, though, so, eh. Your goal here is to shoot at various targets with berries, and try to get the highest score you can. Occasionally, targets like Timon and Pumba will appear, which, if you shoot them, will reduce your overall score. The tree in the corner here has a supply of your berry ammo. Various critters such as raccoons, snakes, and alligators will try to steal your berry ammo. So do take note to shoot them as quickly as possible, because if you run out of ammo, the game is over. Now you can get some berry weapon upgrades, such as a large berry shot or a rapid-fire machine gun berry attack. The rapid fire doesn't decrease your ammo stock, so go nuts when you get this power up. There's a huge variety of targets who are different sizes, speeds, and distances, and point values are reflected at the difficulty of hitting them. And there is some actually pretty decent level design here. A level may give you uh, the machine gun berry weapon, and then it will spam you with some uh, small multiple targets. So it's just not random chaos. There was some thought into where things were appearing and what time, so uh, pretty cool actually. Every few levels you get an animated cutscene, which is a nice addition, it's like a little reward for your effort for playing. However, um, let's look at some of the game flaws here. First off, the scenery here never changes, it's the same scene over and over again. Sometimes you don't think about that too often in games, but when you're expecting it to change and it doesn't, that's a really big strike, especially in a game like this. You could have switched the scenery up every 10 levels, you know, like, really. A second problem is the only losing state here is to run out of berries. So you could just uh, shoot the creatures that just eat your berries and you would still pass the level. Now this is a game about getting the best score, so you won't get the best score, of course. But I really think this game needed a uh, critter quota. It needed a sense of failure other than running out of berry ammo. So as long as you don't use all your ammo up, uh, you'll pass the level. And I really think this game needed a second fail state. So overall, as a standalone title, you know, this probably isn't worth your time. Although it rewards you with some brief animations for progression, you can't help feeling like you're playing, uh, you know, an Atari game. Now that's not bad if you're into uh, scoring type games, but uh, you would at least expect a change of scenery with a game made 20 years later. And that was it really, after 20 levels of the same scene and no new enemies added, I couldn't keep playing, I, you know, pretty much had enough. Now as a mini game on the uh, Simba's Pride collection, you know what, I think this would be fine. But as a standalone, you know, you shouldn't be able to tell the game was obviously a mini game off a bigger collection. So there you have it, The Lion King, Swamp Berry Sling. Thanks for watching.